We tackle the topics America just ain't ready for. Too strong. Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Too Strong, where Too Strong is always better than one and always will be. And I don't think that would ever change. Uh, We really appreciate you tuning in. If you could do us a favor, like and share the video. Um, We are going to have a a really good informational thing going on. And then we're going to take some phone calls. But first thing is first, uh, I want to address, I have to do this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. And uh, either is Merlin, but I have to address something that happened yesterday on the live show. So yesterday we had a big misunderstanding and um, Merlin has said some things to uh, the people, to you all, or some of the people that's here. And some people acted on it and I didn't have knowledge of it. So when I heard it, I took it as a huge, huge, huge disrespect, not knowing what was going on. So my part of the apology is, is that I stepped out of character because of that. And I apologize and I sincerely apologize. And I really feel bad because one thing that I feel like um, when once I addressed it and then I blocked her, I blocked the young lady. And then I, after that, I began to well, we began to speak on the grammar. And that was very, very, very inappropriate. Uh, I don't move like that. I should move like that. And I deeply apologize for that. And I, and I want you to know that I really, really mean it. And it, and it never happened again. So um that that's a, a level of me and it's, it was a good learning experience for me too so uh i apologize and i hope that she was able to get back in i think Lori was trying to get her back in i hope that's the case but for those who are listening i apologize to you all too because that was out of character for me and i hope that you forgive me and i appreciate it i set him up but that was my bad i shouldn't i, shouldn't have set, him up. I, I set him up to fail so he'll never get that from me again if i do joke or jest he will be privy to it so he knows it's coming that ain't gonna be a back behind you thing no more so i just want to put for my piece which is what started it really it's on me so i apologize my my, my bad all right i appreciate you boss so we moving on because like i said too strong is better than one and the devil will not win we will win every single time because we got god with us so speaking of that um once you all have finished liking and sharing and like and all the good stuff for us we're going to get started so good we're getting started right now so um Joel Osteen, we're going to uh, talk about this guy and some of the stuff that he got going on. This, the purpose, one of the purposes of this is to expose the dark side because we have a lot of people that's looking for the light and we're following the wrong people for the wrong reasons. And we just get caught up in these things sometimes and people don't know. And most people, what what me and Marlon has, uh, have found is that most people will not speak on these things boldly. So we just out of nowhere, we started in one direction and then next thing you know, we was here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is what we call to do. And this is what we're going to do so that you can be informed. This is a place where you can come and you can find out what's going on out there because we research this all day long. Like we live for this. This is our jobs. This is what we do. We appreciate it. So if anybody wants to make a donation to help for the cause, uh, look in the, the comment section. We've got Cash App and a paypal we really appreciate all the um all the gifts and everything that, that comes along with it and all the love and the support we really appreciate it so Merlin, let's get rolling man let's jump right in there and um what do we got to start with on i on, uh, love joel Osteen. joe <clears throat> he's amazing he's a great man a wonderful preacher he preaches all the good stuff all the right stuff you better shut up before people start leaving. Okay, let me do it the right. <laughs> let me do it the right way. Well, you know, you know, Mr. Osteen he does his good stuff, does his thing. Um, if you remember our our dialogue with uh, about Oprah, um, what people have exchanged God for is good. Okay, at least what their version of good is, and they've exchanged what God brings you, for what man offers you. So I took a look at Mr. Mann's expenditures. Wow. And um, Mr. Mann makes about 30 million. He's worth about 30 million. But it fluctuates from there to 60 or 70 million dollars a year. A, a year? A year. Jeez. 
I, I want that's not that's not in a, a year. Um, he owns a uh, ten million dollar house. <laughs> a ten ten million dollar house. Okay, this is his house. That now, unless he has a Mexican heritage and he has like 50 million people living with him, what do you need a house like that for? I mean, uh, I'm not dogging him. He wants a big house. Okay, he has a big house. Okay, just don't get me wrong. It's America. You can buy what you want to buy. Oh, God. But when you are preaching about a man who never lived like this, and he is known, he is known more than you are, and he, and he never lived like this, and never strove to live like this, I'm just thinking your priorities might be off. That's all I'm saying especially when you make this money off of the back of people who you deceive. That's the bigger thing. That's it's the biggest part. It's deception. Okay. Now, if you are a preacher, you should be preaching. Um, God, thank you, Becky. I just saw that. Thank you, Becky. Thank you very much, Miss Becky. Um, if, if you are a preacher and you're supposed to be espousing God's word, shouldn't you espouse the word? I'm, I'm going to give you, I would think if you're going to do it, that, that's what you do, right? You'd, you'd preach. I'm going to give you a list of books that he has written. And I want you to tell me, audience members, where in this, you see, he's giving credit at all to the one person that's perfect. Uh, just holler at me. Number one, become a better you. Number two, I declare 31 promises to speak over your life. How to be happier seven days a week. Think better, live better. The power of I am. Not the I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it gets so much better. Blessed in the darkness. <clears throat> Hope for today, Bible. Become a better you daily. Readings. Starting and ending your day right. Fresh start. Wake up with to hope. 30 thoughts. For a victorious living. All of these are what you call self-help books. These are nothing to do with the, the scripture. Eight undeniable qualities of a winner. I declare personal application guide. So he has a lot of self-help books. Making wise choices. Simple ways to pamper yourself. Thinking the right thoughts. So. In any of those, did you hear him mention at all anything about God? Not at, at all in any of them. No, I don't. I don't. To be honest, I don't think he's really a a believer in. No, he's not. No, he's yeah. Not. And he's, I, I have proof of that. I have yeah. exact proof of that. But you've seen the video with Larry King live. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it no? Nah, well, I can't. You know, I'm, I'm just going. You know, well, you know, I just I can't tell somebody else how to believe. Uh, but you, you're a. You say you're a pastor. Look okay. at this. Somebody know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, prophetic. That's a good one. I like that. Thank you, Maureen Barone. We appreciate you very much. <laughs> Look, you help yourself. You don't need no God. Don't worry about it. If, if you have God, okay, good. But if you don't have God, you can be happy. Just be happy. Everybody needs to be happy. Just everybody. You might as well be Bobby McFerrin. Don't worry. <laughs> be happy. Real estate news with Catherine. Thank you very much, Catherine. Um, you should hit us on the um on the uh, email at uh two strong podcast at gmail .com. I have an offer for you to uh, for advertising. Two strong podcast at gmail .com. Hit us up. Thanks, and yeah. I appreciate we appreciate that too. Please do, please do. Now, on top of his ten million dollar home. You would think, okay, he got a house, got a wife, got kids, two. The house has six bedrooms, six bathrooms, five open wood fireplaces, three elevators, a bedroom guest house, an outdoor pool, and a pool house. Is that all? That's 
Very small. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing. Very small hey, thing. Thanks, Terry. Tell him we we doing better than that. <laughs> no, this is the kicker. He has a garage full of automobiles, but his favorite is a Ferrari 458 Italia. Do you know what that car is, Corey? Uh, no, no, sir. See, that's beyond my payroll, my pay grade, boss. I wouldn't know what that is. I can tell you what it is. Was that about two, three hundred thousand? Uh, no, 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 no. You, you think that's you think that's what it is? Okay, one point two million. Four point five million dollars. What? Jeez. Four point five. A million car? dollars. Oh. Okay. Thanks for now I'm gonna, this. Now I'm going to get into. Now I'm going to get into something here. This is my problem. <clears throat> you sell books. You write books. You don't include God in it. You, uh, you espouse God. And at every turn, the money you make goes to you. If your real mission is to be a pastor, the giving back should outweigh your taking in. That's right. I, I'm just saying, when he met the rich young ruler, go sell all you have and then come follow me. It hurt That's him. Right. He's like, I, I don't know if I could do that, man. That's like... Right off the top, you don't really want to follow. It proves to me it's bearing out. That judging from how you talk about God and judging by how you live, I'm going to say that you don't know a God. You know goodness, man-made goodness, but you don't know you, you, you don't know God. And and I, I'm a, I'm going to tell you something about God and turning to God. Your whole mindset, your whole heart, everything changed. Right, your goals, your mission. Yeah, uh, the legacies that you want to leave, how you want to be known, how you want to be seen, everything change because God is all about change. He changed you just like that. There's nothing like boom, right? Now, and I mean, it, and that don't mean it, he fixed everything because we still got works to do. So he's still going to put us through things to give us lessons and so on and so forth. But I noticed that when I, when I became closer to God, the closer and closer I got to God, um, things that I desired is just not there no more. It's just not there. Like, I'm not interested in that car. I'm not infatuated with it. And, and, I, and I'm telling you, test me. If, anybody can test me if they want to because I sell it and use the money. But um, if you give me that car, I'm not driving that car. I'm not interested in it. Uh, it just don't. It's like I'm not interested in going outside and playing in the grass. I'm just not interested in that car. Do I want a nice car that's comfortable and get me where I'm going? Absolutely. But when you turn to God, let's just be real. That stuff is not appealing to you. I that stuff for it. For uh, people that sell drugs, people that, uh, you know, celebrities that that box and, and you know, Floyd Mayweather and stuff. I mean, I don't even agree with it with him, but that's his thing. He's not preaching, though. You understand? <laughs> yeah. He's he not preaching. He's keeping it real. Look, this is what I do. And I have much more respect for that than I do for this guy uh, doing all this different stuff and then, you know, preaching to people that I'm sure has been giving you 10 percent of their money and, and they don't know how they're going to pay their bills next month. Here you is riding around in a four million dollar car. Four million. Crazy. Okay, I want people to put this in perspective. Okay, um, you can build a little township of houses that you can build for about thirty thousand to forty-five thousand. One to two bedrooms, doable for people who are homeless. With that four point five million dollars, you can build it enough in a little plot of land of about five acres to take most of the people off the street in Seattle. Mm, mm, mm. Easily. Okay? House them. Now, that doesn't happen. <clears throat> he has charities that he gives to, but I'm telling you that car outweighs any charity he has ever given. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he give us... See, listen, understand, please, people. When people like this give out charity, it's just... It's a, um, a show. Yeah, it's a show. It's marketing. <laughs> it's marketing. You know, you pay for advertisement. He That's advertising for him. Here, here's the proof in the pudding. How do we know he gave out these charities and where and what? Because he tell it. He get on TV and he show it. 
But then when it, when it, when the cameras turn off, off in my five million, four five million dollar car, and then <laughs> burning rubber, <laughs> fast and furious out of there, Tokyo <laughs> drift. I'm out of there, baby. <laughs> good one, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Take these pennies. I mean, if you think about it, Merlin, he had more money hidden in the walls. Money hidden in the walls. Hmm. Going to fix the plumbing and the envelopes fall. All right. <laughs> now we should talk about that a little bit. I'm a, I got some information on that. Okay. Now remember this. He has a 501c3, right? For the church. That money is free and really free and clear. I want it, it's not even stuff that he has yeah, to really so, so they're not write-offs. Uh, you don't have to write off 501s. I just want people to understand how this it's a scam, okay? And, and it works amazingly for him. Yeah. <laughs> he now says that all the stuff I buy is from the sales of my books. It's all from the sales of my books. I don't take no money from the church. No, because he's he putting it in the wall and, and then claiming it on his insurance. Years. Huh? 200,000 a year is what he's supposed to be getting paid, right? Wow. And they say they say that he has not taken a paycheck from them in a while. It took them 105 million dollars to repair the church they got, the building they got. Again, 105 million dollars to renovate a building that only houses about 43 to 53,000 people. Everything else is frill. A hundred and five million dollars. Man, I want to. And here's a perspective: there are people in Africa meeting in tents and have about that much crowd. You know why they don't need the building? Because they're not worshiping the building. Novel thought. It's hotter than it is here. There are way more animals that could attack them, and they don't care because it's not about that. Because they genuinely trust the person that they're worshiping. It's kind of kind of odd, but you can try it a little bit, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> take a, take oh, a little bit of advice. What what do you what do you think about the money that was in the wall? What's what you think about that? No, you go first about that one. I just, I, right. I think he's copying <clears throat> movies, but hey, what do I know? All right, so first I'm gonna take his side, and then I'm gonna come around the corner and blast him. So y'all bear with me here. So there was um oh shucks hold on how much was it twenty oh no 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 hold on I forgot how many million I, I forgot to write that down no no it was half a million it was five five or six hundred five or six hundred uh five or six hundred thousand dollars found in the wall so they hired a plumbing company to do some work in in the, uh on the plumbing the guy bust the wall open boom envelopes and checks come falling out the wall all right so this is what happened. See what happened. See, what had happened was, see, he listen. The man is smart. The man is smart. Oh, look at that! What happened? So now, what he did now is see, he had reported that money missing back in 26 yeah, twenty fourteen. In twenty fourteen, he reported there's been some money stolen from the church. Oh, right? and guess what? He had insurance on the money. <laughs> he had insurance on the money. So everybody's saying, all his father's saying, but wait a minute, he reported that money back in 2014 and it came up, it showed up in 2021 when the plumber went in the wall. Now, I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to tell you this in all honesty. <laughs> I got it all figured out. I got to say allegedly, right? Allegedly. Nah. This is what I come up with. <clears throat> because he's a, okay, before you go any further, because he's a part of the, the church, you don't got to say allegedly. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, uh, it, 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 I, media ain't gonna care. Well, Trust no, me, but hold on, but hold on. You forgot about YouTube, they make their own rules, so <laughs> they don't like him neither. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, what had happened was what? is they took the money, he passed the money to one of his fellow guys and said, Hey, take care of this. I'm gonna report it. We're gonna get this money in, right? And we're gonna put that money up for a rainy day, just in case something happened. You know where it's at. Boom. Phew, we go get it. Now, what's done happened? What had happened was, is he so big time, he didn't even done forget. He done forgot. <laughs> and he done forgot that he didn't know where the dude put the money at in the first place <laughs> because he wasn't really thinking about that. Because I'm driving around with a car that's worth more than that money in the wall. That's just some, you know, emergency stuff. So 
<laughs> they get the plumber down there, the money fall out the wall. But the man was covered. The man was covered. Well, see, I reported that back in 2014. <laughs> so anyway, all it was was a big time insurance scam and a way for him to hide some money that they may need later. Because listen, just like any other big time criminal, any big time criminal got some money put up hmm. somewhere outside of where you normally be or somewhere that you can get to it and make a move if need be. This is what this clown did. Nobody hid that kind of money in the wall and didn't go back and get it if they stole it. If you steal that kind of money, first of all, I'm putting it in my pocket. If I got time, now, okay, Merlin, you 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 got some experience with construction. You did electrical. You got I thought you were going to say you got some experience with stealing money. <laughs> with construction. All right. Hey, you know, I don't know. Maybe Merlin stole four or five hundred million. <laughs> this is the deal, right? So in order for you to get money in the wall, how did you get the money in the wall, man? Well, you got to put that wall back together. You know, okay. So you got two ways of doing it. You got two ways of doing it, okay? Um, it. You can either take off the sheetrock, stack <laughs> it up, and put the sheetrock back. Or you can go above board and uh -huh. cut out the joist where He's the rocking. gap is between the 16-inch beams, right? Uh -huh. And pull out enough of your insulation, leave it in the attic, and just drop your money down in there. Uh -huh. No one will ever look at the wall because the wall was never busted. It's looking really clean. It could tell that there was no damage there. Obviously, they're not going to look at the wall. Who's going to climb up in the ceiling to go look at the, and, the and, they didn't, and they didn't know that when they pulled that wall out around that around that plumbing in that toilet, them, them I'm, it was going to fall out of there. Fall out. He probably called us, you dumb mother. <laughs> you you buy you banking on that thing just staying in there until you're ready. <laughs> now you gotta figure out how you're gonna mark which slot in between which beams did you put the money. <clears throat> Cause it's a it's a current day building, okay? It's not lath and plaster. Okay, we're not we're not talking about some ancient architecture. It would be two by four, either blown in insulation or rolled up insulation, and it would be 16 inches apart okay so it's known you know but now you have to say which sector did i put it in or did yeah. i put it in multiple sectors now you got to log that and if you don't remember where you logged it and you just send somebody one day and you're like me your brain just doesn't function and you say oh go just go rip it rip it out well you got I'm, some I'm major you, damage control to do big bomb trust me i got a 501c3 and they do not audit me every year they don't and i mean it's so it's so much simpler. I mean, you know that, that it's so much simpler to hide money than it would be a business because all you have to do is, is uh, write checks right to people on. and say that it was for service for your nonprofit and then you're done. So um, he wanted some money to, um, to hide <laughs> so that he can take it on the run with him if he need to go. But I'm telling you this, I know for a fact, they do not um, audit all 501c3s every year. That does not happen. I now, know he, for a fact. The flip side too. And this I have seen. And uh, Al Sharpton is a good example. Okay, Reverend. They are not beyond bribing people to overlook indiscrepancies in their filings. The IRS is not clean. We obviously know they can target certain people. That's known, right? They know we oh, yeah, know they yeah. target certain oh, yeah. people. So it's not beyond the pale for them to be bribed with money to avoid looking at a certain book or a certain sector of my business or allowing me some extra leverage to pay or not pay or even deduct something that they normally should. It's look, it's very easy, especially when you're as influential as, as Osteen is. Okay. Now remember, he's also part of the whole pushing the agenda. Hell, just the, like, the, just like TD Jakes. So no, Merlin, the, the people, the people that's, that's doing this auditing probably a member of this church. More than likely. I'm telling you. That's a huge deal he got going on there. So he got all kind of um I'll put your name on my pew. I'll put your name on a pew. Yeah. I can hook you up. I can hook you up. I'll put your name on a star. It's <laughs> like the Hollywood Walk of Fame, except for Jesus. You're gonna get your Jesus Hall of Fame. Oh man. So yeah, so uh what, what was his he, he made some statements? What was his um direct statements about uh his relation to God and being a homose and homosexuality? Um from what I say, I, I, and I, I want to find the exact thing, but I, I'll find it in a minute here. Um, he said it was not for him to judge. 
It's not for him to judge. Everybody has their own walk. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not the person to judge nobody. You know, if he, if that's how your life is, that's how your life is. Um, I, I I don't know where he found that from, but uh, yeah, people people cre see this is this is um a fake Christian uh, way out of everything. You can't be judging me. First of all, what is judging? What is judging? People don't, you know, people think because I because somebody noticed something about them or know something wrong, then that's judging. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I know somebody gay and I say, hey man, you know, you shouldn't, you know, God don't want you to be a homosexual. Oh, why are you judging? Everything is judging. But it's okay for you to judge the thief and the local thug and all that, but it's it's not okay to judge you. Uh it's it's kind of weird. But the thing is, um see. The judging thing, man. That's a whole big conversation because people got that mixed up. Um, when you, you listen, as long as you don't hate me and resent me and 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 sentence me to hell, you good. If you see me doing something wrong and you and you call it out, you called it out. You discern my my ills, my illness. You saw it. That don't mean you judge me. And then even if that's your definition of judge, like and that from that content, then okay. And the Bible say judge. Unless don't judge unless you want to be judged. Uh, okay, maybe I don't care if I get judged. <laughs> so either way it goes, oh, that what people saying does not does not make uh make but sense. You know how yeah. people like to play both sides of the fence. Okay, and they <clears throat> they want to say what they believe, but then they will follow it up real quick with but you know, and you know, I don't want you know, I can't offend everybody, you know, that kind of mindset where you try to be friends to everybody, offend no one, but still kind of Wait, hold, what is that word? Uh, t tail bearing buffoons. What's that? Hmm? What is that? What that mean? You idiot! Why didn't he hide his own? I don't want to. I don't want to elaborate. I just want to know what it means. You, know, you should be saying you guys are tail bearing buffoon. Um. I, well, the, the, that's not. I don't know what a buffoon is, but um, what's a bu <laughs> what's a buffoon? I don't know. Anybody know what a buffoon is? Yeah. I mean, is is he, is he saying something negative or something? Oh yeah, he's calling us idiots. That that oh, the story okay. isn't true. All right, don't worry about it. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, yeah. I was gonna, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, you, you try to play both sides of the fence because you want to keep your popularity with you know, let's be honest, gay, gay people, right? So here he is where Piers Morgan directly asks him if homosexuality is a sin. Now listen carefully to the type of response. If you ever want to play both sides of the fence, this is how you answer. This is a textbook answer of a Ness. This is a <laughs> this is a Ness answer. <laughs> Ness. A Ness. Yes, no. No, yes. What is your is homosexuality a sin in your eyes? Yes. I've always believed Pierce. The scripture shows that it's a sin. But you know, I'm but, not one of those that are out there to bash homosexuals and tell them that they're terrible people and all that. I mean, there are other sins in the Bible too. I think sometimes the church, and I don't mean this critically, but we focus on one issue. Or two issues, and there's plenty of other ones. So I don't believe his uh, homosexuality is God's best for a person's life. I mean, sin means to miss the mark, but I don't believe being prideful or being, you know, lying. So, you, you don't normally talk about sin. That's the first time I've actually heard you spell it out. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's almost it's, like you've come ready for that really question and thought, I'm actually going to say this. Well, I'm going to say it's a sin. I think I'm, I'm grown in my, my knowledge. I mean, those first interviews, I mean, this was all new to me. I mean, I wasn't, I didn't go to, Seminary. I wasn't raised. I was raised in this, but not in, on front of the camera. But I think this point. People say I don't. I don't talk about sin, but I do talk about how we live our life and making good choices. <laughs> and at the end of every one of our services, I talk about the. I believe the greatest sin, and that's to miss the mark of of not knowing your Creator through so Christ. When you see civil partnerships. That's not you. <laughs> you think that's wrong? Well, presumably. yeah, I think it's I think it's wrong, but I'm not going to bash those people. I'm not going to be against those people. They're they're good people. I say it's wrong because that's what the scripture says. And you know what? I, I choose to live my life by what I what I read in the scripture. You see, I mean, if I had <laughs> see her, she like, yeah, that's right. Tell them, baby, get that money. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand something. <laughs> <laughs> he plays dodgeball. Factual, <laughs> factual. That's I ain't never seen somebody dodge since Bar like Barry Sanders was the last man 
I ever seen move like this. <laughs> if you know who Barry Sanders was, you, you forgot about Floyd. No, 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 Max. <laughs> look, Floyd don't got nothing on Barry Sanders. You couldn't, you couldn't catch Barry Sanders. Like I saw this one time. This man was being chased by eight big human beings. Big, <laughs> big, and they had him. I mean, you couldn't see air between these fellas, right? Around him. him. <laughs> and he stopped, turned, twisted, juke. All eight was like, <laughs> and he got away. Like, that's Joel. Hey, well, he that, listen. What, what, look at look at uh look at this dude. He doing that to a whole congregation. A whole <laughs> about fifty thousand people a week. <laughs> <laughs> Even hey, I don't care how old he get, he get better at it. <laughs> Like Thanks, he, he literally said, he literally said there said you know, uh, well, Thanks, <laughs> I do believe it's a sin, but you know, but, but see, but see the good Lord, <laughs> <laughs> he lets you out of it. <laughs> you don't talk about sin. Well, uh, I I do yeah. talk about how you live, and I think the biggest sin is missing the mark. That uh, what <laughs> the missing biggest the sin is missing the mark. God. Uh, Okay, all have sinned and fallen short. It's missing the mark. Any sin is missing the mark, obviously. <laughs> but he said the biggest sin is missing, missing the mark. The mark. <laughs> you know what, dude? You know what we should do? <clears throat> we need to hear from the people. We can't oh take my God. This, <laughs> this guy's good. Give us a call because we love you all. 877 247 0737. Please limit your calls to two minutes. Two minutes Ooh. per call. Two minutes per call at least but, but but you know what now now joe joe got something over over most of the these uh fake pastors don't he he smiled good i don't think he gay but we don't know i said think <laughs> i gotcha i said think don't i don't know. think hello what's your name and where you calling from hey y'all it's ash and i just want to say i think i think joel's a buffing whatever that is a, a buffin. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a buffin. I do whatever that is. I think that's what Joel is. <laughs> he's a buffin. Well, you ain't nothing but a buffin. He ain't nothing but a buffin. I just want to say I love you guys, and I just can't stand when people come in and chat with that. Not that like no, we don't need you here. Goodbye. Right. He's a buffin. <laughs> Bounce, go ahead and go on with the other bumping. <laughs> but I love you guys, and I just can't so well ought to be ashamed of himself. He just ought to be a, just ashamed. He and I, I love you guys. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing, right. okay? Thank you very much. And, and Don't worry about them buffins, okay? okay. Don't worry about <laughs> <laughs> We love you. God bless right. you. Call All right. Now you hear me? <laughs> okay, so the definition of a buffin, okay? I just, I just created a meaning. You ready? I'm ready. Buffin, being a Joel Osteen. <laughs> no, no, he meant buff because I, I am. I'm, hold on. No, you just buff er, not buff in. Um, That's buff her. out. That's buff out. <laughs> That's buff out. <laughs> Let me just Hello. sit at the buffet. <laughs> yeah, that's the buffet. <laughs> that's Hello. the buffet. Uh, what's your name and where you calling from? And I'm getting married. Hey, Marlon. Hello. Hello. This is Regina from Oklahoma. Okay, Regina, say, give Merlin all the love you can because after you get done talking, I'm getting him and there will be no more Merlin. Because he called, he said I'd be eating at the buffet. Oh, no, 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 I love my Marlin. You better stop. Okay, I quit. I quit. Hey, listen, I got a story to tell you all. When my uh, mm -hmm. back in 2000 and I believe it was four or five. Uh -huh. Okay, I had my Bible and a jo the Joel Osteen's first book he ever wrote on my coffee table. Uh -huh. And I had a schnauzer. And the only, okay, I left and come back, and he was a puppy. The only book he shred was that Joel Osteen book. Oh, man. <laughs> my he... Bible was still intact. Oh, man. And let me tell you, that was a sign from God right there. That's when I hey. started digging deep, and I told him, no, this man is not good. You know, what you, to you, know, you know what you discovered? You got you got one of the only Christian yep. dogs alive. Yeah. <laughs> I know who I, well, he, he's gone now. God right. rest his soul. He, he, he went on to meet the Lord. No breeze, but my God, that dog was smart. Yeah. Was, that dog was yeah, smart. He, yeah, he was smart. He was a Christian. my eyes. Shoot. That just, that's right. He showed what no Muslim. Raised in a Christian home. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a buffing. Okay, thanks, guys. That's, that's all, right, all I wanted to say. All right, we Thank love you. you. Love y'all. Come back now. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Yeah, that Joker was a uh, that Joker was a Christian. Christian, he wasn't, no he wasn't playing no games. I'm a Christian. I'm tearing that book up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what's your yeah, name, man? Was, what, what, was a Christian. Hello. Christian, no. Hello. 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 What's your name and where you calling from? Hello, this is Betty Jo from Pennsylvania. Hi, Hi Betty. Betty. How you doing? Okay. All right. What's on your mind, Betty? Well, um, you were talking about Joe Olstein. Uh huh. Um, he turned away people so many years back when a hurricane went through. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Um, yeah, and he said that they weren't. They can't go. Something can't about here. they weren't. Pardon me. No, he told he would he didn't want to let him in the church or he didn't want to let him in, in the, the building, yeah. In the building, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He turned people away. Yeah. So how is that Christian? Well that's it ain't. not because I don't want y'all to tear up my million dollar build. <laughs> tell him Earl, tell him why. <laughs> why they well, up. well, you see what it was is we, we got we got a building to protect and we gotta make sure that we don't get the floors wet. <laughs> it might be flooded already, but more feet gonna make it even more wet, and we yeah, can't afford it. Terrible. And you know, it, it's crazy because, um, again, I know, I, I know, I keep saying my mother. Uh, it, it was, it was meant because we, um, she used to love that guy, and I told her, I said, I don't like that dude. He seemed too something. I just couldn't put my finger on it, but I knew it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, mm-hmm. always been 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 a bad thing. Yeah. Well, see, I followed TGJ. Hmm. Um, and when you understood the one about him, that blew me away. Yeah, TD. TD. You know, um, it just, and then when I found the thing about Billy Graham, that was like, oh my gosh. He, he on the you list, know. He, he on the list too. Yeah, he's on the list too. Yeah. 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 And, and, and TD. Yeah. T- TD, you know my my um my 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 uh, my great grandma used to say that TD Jakes, he's a funny. Yep, she, she, she knew he was a funny a long time ago. Yep. Yep. So yeah, but thanks for calling. We really appreciate you. Call us back, and thanks for all the love and the support. Thank you, thank you. for what right. you guys are doing. All right, thank You're you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. <clears throat> yeah. Any more calls? I know. Any we got more calls? Call Feel free to call in. Yeah, man. we just hey, we just getting it out there. Well, Hello. I know. What's your mm-hmm. name and where you calling from? Mm-hmm. I'm Shalia. I'm calling from South Carolina. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah, that's I, nice. I was just going to say South Bend. Oh. <laughs> no, South Carolina. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. South Carolina. How you yeah. doing? <laughs> yeah. So I, I want to to mention about what you were saying about, um, I think it was Marlon. Uh, I, I don't know whether it was Marlon or you were asking whether uh, Joel Austin was gay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but just to go over that, yeah, he is, in a sense. And what I mean by that, um, gay and homosexuality is actually perversion. Uh-huh. And perversion, when you look up perversion, it says lies, corrupt, perverse, immoral, misuse, wicked, falsification, misrepresentation. Which, in a sense, he is a misrepresentation of, of God's true word. And also what we have to look at, too, is that the homosexual and perversion, it's a manifestation of what's taking place in the spirit. Because everything takes place in the spirit first before it manifests in the mm-hmm. act. So there is lies and perversion in the <clears throat> spirit realm. So the manifestation is what we're seeing here with the um, widespread of homosexuality. So when I see homosexuals, what I'm looking at is a manifestation is what's taking place in the spirit. Mm. And um, so, yeah, so Joe Olstein, he is perverted. He is perverted, but it's just not manifested to the where he, where he to where he acts out on that, like most homosexuals. But yeah, there is perversion and lies there. So mm. that, yeah. What's your, what what you say? What? <laughs> I'm Shalia. <laughs> well, Shalia. Well, she she put up shellacking on him. 
Shalom. Getting back to that, when we look at yeah, a widespread pandemic. So when you look at what's going on now, our world is covered with this pandemic. But actually, in the spirit realm, is it's the manifestation of lies. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm mm -hmm. gonna tell you one thing I know for sure about you. I don't know you, but I'm gonna tell you one thing I know for sure. You did not. You did not go to his church. You went. To, hey. <laughs> You got the, you got no, the spirit. I, no, I didn't go to any church. Actually, See, I, actually, when I uh -huh, had when uh -huh. I had my encounter with God, Ho when on. I had my encounter, I, go ahead, go ahead. See, I wasn't done. I want I want you to tell that story, but I wasn't done. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't go done. Ahead. Okay, go ahead. This is sorry. what I was gonna mm -hmm. say. You got the mm -hmm. spirit of God in you. The spirit of God is in you, and you know how to just let it on out. And let we appreciate that. <laughs> What, what's no, 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 go ahead. What was you saying? There? What was you saying? There? I want to hear no, what I was about to say when you were talking about churches and what have you. But when the spirit of God revealed himself to me in a real personal way on that road to Damascus, Damascus. Uh -huh. but anyway, after that, um, after that, you know, it's like I didn't have a need or desire, like you were talking about desire for things. But at that point, you know, I graduated from the church or, or religious system, mm -hmm. um, and then just started following him in the spirit in spirit and truth like he said oh. um but yeah it's 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 perversion all over this place in the spirit in the natural however you want to call it that's but right. but it takes place in the spirit first Ooh, but anyway that's what i wanted to say brother i'm Thank saving you. your number you ain't getting away from here you have a good day I'm <laughs> <laughs> no no we like we, we really appreciate uh fantastic word thanks a lot god is good uh, you're welcome right, goodbye thanks. bye bye amazing call do gays make it to heaven okay here's my answer i don't know if a person is going to heaven or not that's not my call that's between them and god i just know that homosexuality is a sin and god is not pleased with it hmm. hello what's your name and where you calling from uh atlanta <laughs> atlanta all right all right i'm from atlanta but i ain't saying my name we ain't going there i ain't mad at you <laughs> What's on your mind? <laughs> I'm Kim Sumi. Kim Sumi? Uh huh. Can you oh. hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you. Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, turn my TV off. I'm sorry. I, this, I'm just uh, learning of you guys, and I'm loving your show. First of all, it's really refreshing to see men lead correctly. So, first of all, you know, let me take my hat off to you guys because I'm loving it. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. And that. I was on the Yo, you definitely, I'm, you know, I'm about to show all my friends, you guys, uh, channel, so like I said, it's needed. Um, I wanted to speak on a couple of topics you guys talked about, Joe Osteen, clearly. Uh, you know, the word tells us, you know, basically flocks of the feather, you know, flock, you know, flock together. Yeah. And when you look at Joe Osteen, example, he hangs around TV Jake. He, he, I he, mean, you look at Kanye West at the but, church, you know. But can I, can I, can I, can I ask you something about TD Jakes? Uh -huh. What 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 do what do T D T D Jakes do? He's busy flapping his hands around. <laughs> I think you know uh, when it comes to T D. Uh, T D has a lot of the same characteristics as Joel. The difference is that, um, in my opinion, uh, he just wraps God like a bow around it. Uh -huh. A little differently than Joel does. Joel just yeah. does a whole motivational speech and then at the end kind of wraps the bow around it. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And uh, uh, T.D. Jakes, the thing I don't like, the thing I do with pastors, especially mega pastors, for me, I like, the way I feel like you can get to know who a person really is is when you see them in the actual media. And so I've always done that. So before Joel Osteen and all those other people, I would always do that. I want to see what you're saying when you're on that world platform, when you're on the Oprah show, when you're on, you know what I mean? And yeah. so to me, that's, Volumes because you're going to talk way different if you're not a child of God, you know, on a media platform than you would at church. And that's really how I always, you know, view anybody that say they're a child of God, whether they're an actress or actor or whatever, or in this case, a pastor. So, yeah, your or just, fruit is your fruit. Or just go home with them. You know what I'm saying? Listen, when you want to, when you want the true identity of any man, follow him home. And his wife, his kids, and the people around will definitely tell you who he is without telling you who he is. Trust me on that one. Yeah, yeah but, and but, I told... But you, you you make some very good points. We really appreciate the call. Well, yeah. Can I make one comment about the gay... Uh, yeah, I was talking about the gay Absolutely. comments and Absolutely. stuff. People, yeah. Um, a, a lot of pastors, you know, the Bible says in, the, in these end times, it will be like the days of Noah. And a lot of pastors, from my uh, experience, they always talked about the Noah and the flood, okay? The Bible wasn't talking about that. 
the reason the flood came was because back even then, that's why the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun, because back then they was messing with genes then. They were changing their genes, and they were also mixing uh, humans with animals, okay? And that's what you see going on now. I don't know if you heard the other day, uh, the man had a heart transplant from a pig example, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, you see Elon Musk putting, uh, uh, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but he's doing the mark of the beast with a forehead. Yeah, yeah. Called the neural link. Okay. And so you see all of them using animals and now they're taking those animals and putting them in the body. But also if you look at the, uh, the, um, the logo or the, uh, what you call the mascot for the Satanist, it's called the Bassmit. And the mm-hmm. Bassmit is, uh, 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 it looks like a goat in the head, face, whatever you want to call it, but it also has breasts and it has a penis, what we call transgender. Okay. But if you read your Bible, not saying y'all, but anybody that's listening, if you go read up on the Antichrist, the Antichrist, he will be gay. So that's what I call the spirit of the Antichrist, because the Antichrist, no, you can't go to heaven, because once you change your genes, that's why they push this whole agenda for children to change their genes and being from a little girl to a little boy, because fate knows what the pastors ain't teaching. Once you change your genes, you can't go to heaven. So I'm, yeah. I can get beat with that. We had to talk about that another day. I just want to throw that out. All right. <laughs> and, and, but you know what? You're getting down on it. So we appreciate it. We love you. And tell all your friends about us. Okay. Tell us. Tell, tell your friends you. that they should Thank like you us. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Thanks yeah. a lot. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. So I want a little bit of time, just to, not too long, but just to expound on this thing here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to read this for you. Uh, just, just listen real quick. Um, do you not know that the wicked... Very blanket, wicked, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Don't be deceived. Not the sexually immoral, idolaters, adulterers, men who submit or perform homosexual acts, nor thieves, nor the greedy, drunkards, verbal abusers, swindlers, will inherit the kingdom of God. Now, remember, all of these encompass evildoers, wickedness, wrongdoers, all of them. Okay? Um. But for some reason, and this is why I think you should open your eyes to this. <clears throat> people want to make an exception to homosexuality. You'll never hear them make an exception to any other sin. They will never tell you that, oh, <clears throat> I can be a child molester and, and go to heaven. They won't tell you that I can continually cheat on my wife and, and go to heaven and still be a, a pastor. I, I can't do that. But you can be gay and be a pastor. I, I want you to analyze the spirit behind that statement, okay? What they're doing is telling you directly that even though God said all of it is in one pile, you want to take your hands and weed through a bunch of poisoned needles to pick one particular poison needle out of it and say, but this one, we can work with this one. He put all of them under the blanket of wrongdoing wrong doing if i kill if i rape if i steal if i'm adulterer i am no different than someone who is a homosexual it's all wrong doing i cannot then go and say well this particular wrong doing is okay because i feel it's okay it is not a matter of us deciding what's right and wrong he already decided this. It's under the blanket of and none of us are doing. If we're doing any of those things, we're not going to we can't dwell with him. He doesn't work with that. So you can't pick out one thing and say, well, you know, you can be a gay preacher or, you know, you can be a gay. No, listen. He blanketed it with all the other sins that we don't like. You don't like them, but he puts them in there. He puts that one right in the in the middle, actually. So they're all surrounded. So you want to reach your hand in and pull that one out and justify it. it. That's not how it works. I'm sorry. It doesn't work like that. So no, they won't go. No. If you're practicing that, you're not going. No. <clears throat> yeah. So when, when I say, I don't know, I'm I'm speaking on the individual, just so people know, I know Merlin understood what I meant. Mm-hmm. I'm speaking on the individual person. I don't know what kind of um, revelation he came to before he died. I don't know. So I don't like to say, oh, that person with the hell, that person, did. I don't know. That's between them and God. You know what I'm saying? But if you are, in fact, a, a gay, yeah. I mean, how do you how do you think that you're going to make it into heaven? You're not. Let's take another call. Hello, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
I'm calling from Brentwood, Tennessee. Brentwood, Tennessee. You know what? You, you, you young ladies, y'all call it here and y'all just be so calm. Bring the tone down. Love it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down with you. How you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> doing great. All right, what's on your mind today? <laughs> um, I I just think these guys are pathetic. You know, they're practicing something that they don't preach, and it's just it's it's horrible. And I, and I want to tell you guys, you're doing a great job. It's right why I really call it. I, and I just think these preachers, these televangelists, I just think they're pathetic. Yeah, they are. They really are. You know, p- <clears throat> playing with God. I mean, it's, it's horrible. And oh my God. <laughs> yeah, these, these people. But I want to have... tell you guys. You... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you could. I just want to say y'all are doing a great job. I left a message the other day, and I was in a sport, and I just think y'all are doing a great job. And I am telling all of my friends about it, and just thank you. I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much. You are oh, thank welcome. You so much. You're we really welcome. appreciate the uh, the love and the support. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And thanks for the call. Make thanks. sure you call us back. Your, your voice is so calming. Yes, thank you. Right. Thank you so much. I would definitely call back and, well, I, that's okay. I had something I wanted to do, but I'm going to keep it to, between me and God, but it's something I wanted to do for y'all, and I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, either I'm just next week. <laughs> All right. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. All Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Yes, amazing. Amazing. Um, her voice was so calming and relaxing. Let's take another call. Want to take another call, Mara? Yeah, let's take one more. Hello. What's your name, and where are you calling from? Hey, Corey and Martin. I Hello. called this earlier this afternoon and I got in. Now I'm getting in again. Uh, all right. You got, you got skin. From New Jersey. All right, I want to know what, the, what that beeping sound is again. Started back on us, didn't it? But go ahead. I said, this is, Ang- this is Angeli. I'm calling from New Jersey. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. We can. Okay. Well, Corey, you said that you don't know if you should judge about if a homosexual is, uh, will go to heaven or not, right? Wrong. No, I thought you said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so because I, no, go ahead, go ahead. I, I wanted to give I wanted to give you a scripture book, okay? I know, but before you, before you give me the scripture, I want to ask you: Did you hear what I said after that? Because I wanted to, I wanted to clarify what what I said and what I meant. Okay, what what did you say? <clears throat> Tell me. So I didn't hear. That. Okay, so first she said, "Is it, if a person is a homosexual, is he going to heaven?" And I said, "I don't know." But what I, what I right. meant by that, I'm speaking on the individual person. Like, let's just say you know a gay person; it can be your cousin or something. Just as an example, your cousin he gay, right? So right. he get he catch cancer, he go to the hospital, he die. So everybody assumed that this guy went to hell. But before he died, could is there any chance that he could have met Jesus? You know what I'm saying? And gave himself, gave his life well, to God. Of course, of right. course, he has a chance, just like the right. guy on the cross next to Jesus. <clears throat> right. That's right. why we say we don't so, know. So that's so that's why I said so that's what I mean by I don't know because I don't know what these guys are going right. to do and what kind of uh, well, relationship that he might encounter with God. But yeah. I am I'm extremely clear that a homosexual is a, is a clear center and he's not it's making not, it it's not it's not only a homosexual i was going to read first corinthians 6 9 through 11 it says do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of god yeah. do not yeah, be deceived know. neither fornicators nor adulterers nor nor idolaters no homosexuals nor sodomites nor yeah. thieves nor covetousness no of course they're speaking about not just homosexuals all these other people that think they're going to heaven. I know, but the, the, the question was about the homosexual. That's why I asked. <laughs> right, but I'm I'm saying yes, homosexuals either. But you're right. If they do, for you know, ask the Lord to forgive them before they die. Of course, I believe yeah. that they're going to heaven. Yes, yes, so, absolutely. Yes. You're, All you're right, absolutely correct. All I right, didn't hear that last part. But anyway, All right. okay. Well, we love you. you guys. We love you. We love you. Love you. Love you. And and love thanks for the support. Okay. okay. All right. Um, no man's good and good doesn't qualify you god qualifies you i just want to be clear they could be very good people i have no i know i know plenty good human level good nice wonderful well-behaved 
awesome will help you at the drop of a hat, gay people. I know tons of them. Cheeseburgers good too, but they ain't good know, for me. I know tons of them. Okay. Yeah. That is not a prerequisite for entering the kingdom. It is not. He didn't. He, he didn't leave that to you to. to <laughs> your behavior is not what gonna get you in there, and your behavior is not what gets you salvation. So let me let me give let me give you a perfect example. Let's say that you are the coach or the owner of a professional basketball team, and it's it's time for tryouts, right? And so you're going to say, you know what? You're not a good ball player, but you're really nice. You're really you're a really a good person. So I'm going to go ahead and pay you a million dollars a year or five million dollars a year, whatever it is, and put you on the team because you're nice. You're really nice. You know, what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I, I really like that. It don't work that way. You can be nice all you want, but if you don't make the cut, you don't make the cut. And that's it. Let's take a call. Hello. What's your name and where you calling from? I am calling from North Carolina. How you gentlemen doing tonight? We are doing good. Yeah, Please don't. You, you, you sound like you're going to tell me something. I'm listening. <laughs> <That's strong. laughs> you know what? I want, first of all, let me ask this question. Okay. Has anyone brought up the um, the money deal about the plumber finding the money? Yeah, we did. At the Lakewood Church? Yes. During the plumbing? Yes. Okay, because I was trying to figure that out myself because I came in later. I just got out from work. Oh, okay. Because um, okay. my question is, from 2014, um, some money supposedly was um, was stolen out of a safe. And then in 2021, around November, October, November, somewhere like that, uh -huh. the guy, the plumber, find this amount, extra amount of money. And then later he was rewarded $20,000. Yeah. That was uh for doing the work. Um, I, I think I deemed that one an insurance scam done by the greatest. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, I see that okay, as I, I think he did an insurance scam. We talked about it earlier. So when you go back, go back to and rewind and listen to it and then tell all your friends about it too. Okay. I will. I will. I'm, and I'm going to go back in and tune in live. Thank you so okay. much, y'all. Have you. a good night. Are you too? God bless Thank you. you. Okay. Thank Bye. you, God. God's fancy girl. Thank you very much. Uh, no, we don't give. We don't give. What, women a different phone number. I'm sorry that you can't get in, guys. <laughs> oh, they quick, they quick, so they quick, bam. Yeah, they they got they got that number on on hot dial, man. You got to be fast. Uh, he said he said, can men call in? <laughs> Is that what he said? Somebody yeah, he was the one that said that before. Do men y'all allow men calling? And like, well, y'all give women a different phone number. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh man. <laughs> It's just you know what I think. Use your our, man card, bro. Use your man card. <laughs> most of the uh, most of our um, the people that follow us are women. And you just you outnumbered, brother. Try again. See, ain't nobody calling right now. You could have been tried. No, here's this. It's a weird this might thing. Be him. <clears throat> Let's see. Hello, what's your name and where you calling from? Hi. Oh, no. I'm Hi, Jackie you? from Washington State. Hi, hey, Jackie. Jackie. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we're, here. we're here. Turn off the TV. Jackie. Jackie, 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 what you doing? Hello, now? can you hear me? <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> we sorry, we sorry, Marlon being childish because you know, I think Marlon know you. Jackie, Jackie. I'm here. Jackie. Okay, Jackie. talk on, Jackie. Okay, I just wanted to call and talk about um, Kanye West. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're on. I got my TV well, you, turned all well, the way you gotta down. Turn, and I still. You got to turn. Okay. If it's it, all it, the way down. Okay. So talk in the phone, right? Just right to the phone. And okay. you're going to hear it's good. Don't don't even look at the okay. TV for a minute. Just talk to us right here. Bam. You got it. <laughs> Try not to. Okay. Kanye West. Um, a lot of MK Ultra people are taught from. You want, see, you want to, to see yourself talk. I, you know what? <laughs> We're on delay. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem, y'all. <laughs> she was trying to watch herself uh, talk. And, 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 yeah, and it's, she had the things up and off and it wasn't working out. So she said, you know what? I'm done. Um, maybe she can call back again. But I want that guy to get in, man. Come on, man. Call. Come on, Ellis. Come on, Ellis. <clears throat> Hello, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. 
Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, it's Danita. Danita. I'm sorry. Joe Osteen is sweet. He just ain't been caught. He's a very quick update for all of you. Our other sweet, Juicy, has been released from jail. Oh, Juicy? <laughs> Juicy been released? He has been released from jail. I was coming in the house and I had Fox News on. What? What? I told you why he wasn't, they weren't going to make him stay. Oh, that's crazy. Emmett Till, Emmett Till the second. <clears throat> and you guys, I am so angry right now. I don't know what to do. Don't be mad. I feel why? So T- tell, tell us why you're mad. Tell us why. Huh? Why you mad? Look, I thought maybe we were going to get a little bit of justice. He wasn't going to, you know, I, I haven't been able to hear any more reports whether it was the same judge or not. Uh-huh. We just, I, I guess I have to pray on it. I guess I have to pray on it. Guess what, though? Can, this, I, can I tell you something? You don't have to pray on it. You don't have to be upset about it. It is what it, it is. is. I and, know. I know, you guys. I know it is. Yeah. I know it is. Your son is still in jail. Other people are still in jail. Mm. Yeah. And you, but you, you know, know what? But you know what? I'm going to tell you something about that. My son is in jail. I mean, if I if I could get on a plane and go with a placard in front of his house right now, I would do it. And I, you hear the hoarseness in my voice, but I'm walking in the door, you know. Yeah. So I haven't heard any more details. I went to the internet. Yeah, he's out of jail. Oh, that's all right. He'll be yeah, all right. Yeah. Let let him let him uh, live his life. It's in you know what? It's yeah. in God's hands. That's right. That's exactly where he is. Yeah. The Lord will will provide us with justice. Yeah, yeah, he will. We don't. So, yeah. I'm gonna let you All right. go. Other people want to call in, but okay. I, I have put it in the chat, but I don't think anybody saw it. Oh, and, no, I um, it. So I guess we'll get the details later. Yeah, we'll tackle it. Hope you yeah. guys have a great evening, and I'm posting public, FYI. And next time I call, would you guys give me your Facebook so I can friend you? Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know what? We're going to put him. Matter of fact, uh, Marlins is tell it like it is, right, Marlon? No, Marlon Brown. Yes, yeah, Marlon Brown with an yeah. E on Marlon the end of Brown. Brown. Yeah. yeah, Brown tell with an it E. Like it is. That's his Facebook page. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But make sure you spell okay. Brown, B R O W N E. Well, I guess I can spell Brown considering my name is Anita Brown. Well, I'm just saying it's, it's, it's two different ways. It's got no, an E Marlon. on the end. It's, it's got an E on the end. I'm not, from, I'm not from the Caribbean, so I don't Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Maybe for you, I'm related to him. I don't think so. I don't could think be. I have no relatives from the crib. I've well, right. it's originally from Ireland, so you know, never know. <laughs> All right, so All right, thank you, Marlon Brown. Tell it like it is, okay? Yep. I'm gonna right. friend him after I get off the show. All right, thank, thank you. you. Okay, bye bye. Um, it's only during his appeal. He's not out out, but he's he is allowed to leave during the appeal. Oh, okay. So, then, oh wow. I mean, that's could still, still go back in. Yeah. That's good. They they did good. He got but you look, he got some he got some um some some of them powerful um gay lawyers. That's you know, that's how they do. I respect you, Corey. I respect you, Corey. But but jail time. I am not suicidal. <laughs> I am not suicidal. Let's take another phone call. Oh <clears throat> listen, this is what we're gonna do. We we hope one of the men get through. Come on now, let's do it. Hello, what's your name and where you calling from? Hello. 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 What's your name and where you calling from? Hello. 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 No. Hello. Hello. Don't watch us on the TV. You listen to us on the phone. We here. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Hello, we hear you. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm in Tennessee. All right. What's on your mind? You know where Tennessee is? Yep. Down south. Okay. Yeah. Well, all I really wanted to add was uh, God hates the sin, not the sinner. That's right. That's what people need to keep in mind. Whether it's homosexuality, whatever it is, it's the sin. That's right. So if you're not practicing, then you're not sinning. You know, and it's not judging. 
Now, the Bible says to call sin out. That's mm-hmm. right. You know? Yeah, so it's not a matter of, you know, I'm not going to say somebody's going to heaven or they're not. God's the judge. That's He's right. the judge of that. You're going to hell. We are to judge the sin. You know, there's no big sin, no little sin. Sin is sin. You know? It is doesn't what matter it is. what it is. That's right. That's right. But now people are changing the Bible to fit their life. Not living according to the Bible, they're manipulating the Bible for what they want to be okay to be okay. That's right. And that's not pleasing to God. You know, God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And manana, that's right. And always will and he'll be. For, I mean, he'll forgive you. Oh, that's right. All you got to do is repent. It doesn't matter what you've done. God will forgive it except for blasphemy. That's right. And you won't, the Bible says he will not forgive that. All right. So there's not anybody, you know, again, no big sin, no little sin. All he right. will forgive all sins. That's right. Except right. blasphemy. That's right. And we don't you want to do agree? that. Huh? No. But I want you to know, I just now have found y'all and you're both absolutely awesome. Thank you. I set my alarm clock on my phone. So in case I don't get my notification, my alarm clock goes off. So I don't miss you. All right. Well, don't miss us. Don't yeah. miss us. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. It's and, just and, good to hear somebody and, call and, it out. Yeah, and, tell, and tell your friends about us too, okay? We appreciate it, okay? Oh, I'm going to. Right, I'm th- going to keep watching. I'll just keep on bringing it. All right. Thank you very much. Call us back now. You thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My two favorite dudes when we get in a hot squad, back to hit squad. The what? This is too strong, baby. Too strong is always better than one. <laughs> That's where we at, man. We this is where we at right now. You know what I'm saying? We uh um, we done moved on to uh bigger and better things new horizons new horizons and that's uh that's where we at right now brother but we appreciate well, we're glad it. to have you yeah we're glad we, to have we, you we're here glad to have you here but uh no hope and dope uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> bro, you, you just uh, you just had to go <laughs> what man no hope and dope no it was that was that was a group um mm-hmm. i'm sure it was Corey. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. all right Hello, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, can you hear me? You got you got to t- t- turn turn off your other source. Your source. I just did. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's on your mind? Just wanted to tell you guys, I love you guys. Some kind of way, y'all jumped in my feet, just like a lot of other people this past couple of weeks. Um, can you do you guys have some kind of do you have um a cash app or a Venmo? Yes, we do. We have a cash app, it's right there in, in the description. The cash app is dollar sign two strong podcast. Okay. Uh, Dot- my name is Venus, and I'm gonna be sending y'all some. I really love you guys. I have been binge watching. <laughs> I hope y'all don't go for Judge Joe Brown, but if you do, you do. But no. I, think that, I like uh, Judge Joe Brown. I love Joe. Brown, love Joe. I, I think that you came to me through uh, their show, Man Up. Okay. Okay. So, but it has been enlightening, and I'm loving it. I even uh, the Candace Owens revelation. Yeah. I was hesitant. But I wanted to watch it anyway because so far, and and I've learned a lot of stuff. For example, when you guys say um, don't judge, yeah, you guys have really. Uh, it's been wonderful when you say, "Well, you're judging me." It brings a whole new perspective to it. So I I can't complain about nothing. I'm I'm really loving it, and I appreciate the revelations with some stuff that Judge Joe Brown said. And some stuff that y'all said, it brought a lot of stuff full circle as far as Obama and being related to the Bushes and the cousin. I think I got that from you all. But I had got some things from Judge Joe Brown. And like I said, I watched their show. And when that show went off, you guys came into my feed. And I've been watching you guys ever since. And um, you guys keep up the good work. And 
Um, I don't want to hold y'all up, but I'm just so glad that I was able to get through. And uh, Marlon, you remind me of a young Denzel Washington. <laughs> I have so, I've heard that before. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it because I, I, I like I'm, Denzel. <laughs> it reminds me. I think that was one of the reasons why I just honed in. But, you know, again, I love it. I love everything that you guys have said. And I appreciate I really appreciate the enlightenment. So I don't want to hold y'all up. I know people are watching. But I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate it. And I will be sharing All right. with the friends that I have left uh, with this, <laughs> the new revelations and stuff. I don't even speak to my aunt a lot of my family members because of what happened, but <laughs> ain't it crazy? Just say with the friends I got left. Because we got the same thing going on. We got the hey, same welcome, problem. welcome to the club and we family, come join the family right here. We appreciate you. Yeah, it's, it's the- good to get a new family because I lost my mom right before the COVID. Right. And um, I've been disappointed uh, because of the fact that I expect my older relatives, they should have taught us better. And yeah. they didn't teach us better and you know, a lot of my relatives have this syndrome of uh, we are oppressed and we're this and we're that. And in hindsight, we've never been oppressed. We've been fortunate. So, Ooh, But man. anyway, I don't want to uh, hold y'all up. I want y'all to keep doing what y'all doing. But you guys have a wonderful afternoon. And like the lady said before me, I set my alarm clock now so I can catch you off. All right. Thank we you. appreciate Thank you. you. Much you love. So much. much love. Thanks a lot. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a great afternoon. Thanks for taking my call. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Yes, another amazing call. That's good, man. Um, Dawn Marie O'Connor, thank you very thank much. You. We are um truly humbled. Um, you all have, have been uh really amazing to us, and we really appreciate it. Um, uh, being our, our videos been going up, our uh views, the subscribers, everything is going in the right direction. So as long as we can keep pleasing you all, we are good and just keep praying, keep us in your prayers and and uh keep supporting us. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Um one thing that we need to do though is we need to get to that hammer, hammer. I know y'all don't want, y'all not ready for hammer time though, but sorry. Mr. Osteen, captain and commander of the falsified prophets of the day. Look, people like him, TD Jakes, um, Copeland, uh, there's a myriad of them. They are great showmen. And I mean, they are good. They know how to put the flair. They know how to get your attention. They know how to keep your attention. And they know how to lie. If it's one thing they know how to do is lie. And you can't mix a lie with the truth. It don't work. And if you try to mix a lie with the truth, it's a lie. Truth is it's independent. It does not rely on anything else. It doesn't need to be sugar coated. It doesn't need to have honey poured on it. It doesn't need to have a side. It is what it is. And people like Joel are going to be judged harsher. It said so. Woe to the teachers. Your judgment is going to be harder because you're going to be responsible for people. Today, where we are now, there has never been a more emphatic time for you to be a member of the Truth Brigade. I mean, honestly, lies are abundant. Truth is scarce. You have to dabble in the truth. You have to dwell there. You have to live there. If you don't, if you don't, you're going to get sucked in by every person that comes and can tell you something sweet. If I can leave you with anything today, there's only one source for the truth, and it's not man. If you don't get to know God through the Spirit, you're not going to know anything. That's my biggest advice to you. Get to know God personally. He has a door open. You just need to walk on in. And the personal relationship is real. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I didn't, I didn't understand it until I understood it. You know, I always say, you ain't going, <clears throat> you're going to get it. We say, if you don't get it, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. <laughs> you're going to get it if you don't get it. And, and it worked both ways. And just be aware of that. The truth is the truth. And that's it. And that's the whole thing. That's the bottom line. We really enjoyed uh, you all today. We really had fun. Um, this is not work for us. It's really uh, tons of fun. And you, you've all been very 
supportive, um, mental support, spiritual support, and financial support. So we really appreciate that. We really do. Uh, I can't say it enough. I really can't say it enough. People has been uh, very generous, uh, especially as of lately. And it really helps us both out a lot. I know um, Marlon is going to take a trip and I mean, he could use, you know, we all could use uh, everything we can. So thanks a lot. But tomorrow, now listen, keep in mind, tomorrow, 12 noon, we're doing a Q&A. That's questions and answers. That's where we, we answer a couple of questions and then you all can call in and ask any question, any question at all, any question that you want to ask. And we will answer right there. And it is like tons of fun. So that's at noon uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and then at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, we will be here again with uh, Too Strong on the second in the evening. So we're there in the, in the, in the evening. I mean, in, at 12 noon and in the evening. So make sure you try to catch both shows. But at, all in all, do us a favor and make sure you hit the like button. Hit the like button. We should be up to about 500 up there. But no, because most of the people on YouTube, that's good. I forgot. But uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and click all. Subscribe. Do it right now, please. Subscribe, <laughs> notification bell, all. Oh. And that way you'll be the first to know when we come out with a new video. Oh, I, I, I rap now. We, you'll be the first to know when we come out with a with a new video. video. Yeah. Yo. So we appreciate you all. Come back and see us. And uh, remember, two strong is always better than one. Peace. We out of here. We tackle the topics. America just ain't ready for. Too strong.